We start our concert with Wilson's From the Fair, Lavinian Shaw, and this is from the Cheerful Airs. Lavinian Shaw is a reference to Virgil's Aeneas, um, and uh, in it he starts, I sing of warfare and a man who firstly exhaled by fate came from the coast of Troy to Italy and to Lavinian shores. And in the song, the street seller claims that these marvellous wares that he's brought from the Lavinian shores um, have uh, amongst them cosmetics that will restore a lady of 70 with the complexion of a girl of 15. From the This is Take O oh, Take uh, with words uh, possibly by Shakespeare. Certainly the second verse is by John Fletcher and the first verse well we don't really know. Um, it's sung by a boy in the play to Mariana, the woman whom Angelo promised to marry. The singer asks a false beloved to go away from them and leave off trying to kiss because the lips with which they would kiss are also the ones they used to perjure themselves. Thank mm -hmm. you. Next we have In a Veil with Flowers from Cheerful Airs and uh, in this song it's a pastoral in which Strephon tries to beguile a nymph who rejects his advances. She flees whereupon he calls on nature for help and defence. i 
The next one is a dialogue, and Wilson writes quite a lot of dialogues in the B1 manuscript from which this piece is taken. And it's words from Owen Feltham's The Appeal, first printed in Lusoria, 1661. And Lusoria is a miscellany of occasional pieces, some poems, writings, aphorisms. And it's rather odd that it's been set here by Wilson as a song. Tied and cute in an This is Cruel Clorinda. Uh, this is only found in the B1 manuscript. And it's a song which describes uh, Clorinda, who takes pleasure in the enslaving of her captive lovers in her hair, like a siren. And here we have the tablature part written by Wilson and only found in the B1 manuscript.
This is, to thee I fly thy sole defence of my invaded innocence. It's from the Psalterium, Carolinum, and it's the fourth psalm. In this, the dangers to Charles's realm are likened to floods, tumults and inundations which will cleanse and restore the earth and the savage beasts at work in the world will be quelled. Our song here is I am confirmed in my belief. Uh, this is another song from Owen Felton's uh, Lusoria and it's an aphorism uh, titled Upon a Breach of Promise. <laughs> heaven-threatening, and the words are by that great lute player, Lord Herbert of Cherbury, he of the manuscript in Cambridge, and it's titled Echo to a Rock, and Echo and Narcissus is a story retold in Daphne and Chloe, but here the echo does not give solace to the spurred lover, but rubs salt into the wound by giving all the wrong answers, such that the lover is moved to suicide, and the echo to sound the monument as she passes by. 
Here we have one of Wilson's Latin songs based on um, an ode by Horace, uh, which was frequently set and probably was thought by Wilson to have originally been sung, certainly was used by many people for musical performance. And it's really all about uh, Chloe, who is personified by a deer, and in the song she's remorselessly pursued by a lover. Thank mm -hmm. This is the version of In the Merry Month of May from Cheerful Airs. And here we have an Elizabethan poem rather than a Cavalier poem. It's by Nicholas Breton and it's a pastoral that was used at the Elverton Entertainment of 1591. This was an entertainment given to Queen Elizabeth um, uh, by the Earl of Hertford and it's titled The Ploughman there. Yeah. 